Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Bring It On. I did a couple things off camera. Uh, first, I did get the bright armor from the pawn shop. To afford it, I did have to sell a few things I've been holding on to, uh, like the ring and a couple of gemstones. I'm listening. Uh, Helgen Har has the plate armor equipped. Yes. And Soraka got my main character's hand me downs, as she now has the Griffin Keeper's vest equipped. I also I took some time and filled out my quick slots on most of my companions. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes. I'm listening. Alright, let's turn this quest to Elden. Yes. I'm back already. Have you found the petals? Uh, yes, I have. Here they are. Wonderful. Beautiful. Great work. As we agreed, orange and gold shall be your reward, as well as a robe, woven from magical fabrics that were enchanted by the mages of Wardenhaft. Hope you should find them useful. Oh, she's a merchant, she can afford it. An honest payment for honest work. That should do. Farewell. Of course, young one. Here you go. Farewell. Archmage robe. A set of stylish robes worn by initiate practitioners of magic. It doesn't really help much with casting spells, so to say, because a state of elevated confidence to the wearer. I'm always ready. Yeah, best sense of the prodigy is still better. So what we'll do instead hmm? is sell that right back wants. to her. Can I help you? <laughs> hmm? I'm listening. All right, we need to get back to Scofarth. We still have a couple of quests to do in that general vicinity. At once. So I was looking for the location for this quest. It has to be at night. Oh, all right, that's the Elven Ruins. At Perfect. Once. All right, we'll wait till nightfall. And then see what's causing the disturbance. Off I go. Zoria Moon Horror. Yes. I'll make it. I await your instructions. I shall not flag until we. I'm, are you certain? I'm listening. No one stands against steel. Me? I just keep her back. We'll find a solution. Hmm? I fear neither pain nor death. Well, I'm not see. gonna risk that. <laughs> you need only there. Those are some really cool looking enemies. All right, let's see if this guy will talk to us at night. Fantastic. A greetings. Did you find the source of the disturbances? I found the source of your problem, but it wasn't bandits. I came upon the aftermath of some kind of cult ritual gone horribly awry. Dangerous deformed creatures are roaming the ruins. I released them from their suffering. That was entirely unexpected. I never noticed nor heard of occult presence in this area. It's unfortunate you had to resort to violence. I understand you did what you must to restore order. Take this old healing staff of mine, and this small reward as well. 
I'll only take the staff. I'll accept the staff, thank you. I won't take coin for honest work. My friend, I see that you walk the true path of Telindia. My service is restricted to Scofarth and its surrounds. But I hope you will carry the goddess's light wherever you go. Branch of the Green Mother. Plus two to focus and one casting of Verdant Growth and Natural Instinct per day. Worshippers of Tilind came out wrong. <laughs> Worshippers of Tilindia produce these staves and sanctuaries to the goddess. They carry the blessings of the Green Mother, allowing the user to realize their full healing abilities. Clerics of Tilindia hold the understanding and protection of nature as their sacred mission. The staff is able to summon the guardians of nature when her balance is threatened. Yes. How does that compare? I think spell slots are more valuable, uh, but you can equip both of these. I await your instructions. All is quiet in the forest now, as it should be. I'm listening. At once. Right, so I'm going to exit to the east, but we're going to go west because we have kobolds to kill in the moonstone clearing for the fishermen. Serenia Silverfeather. Oh, hello. I have a problem that requires someone strong and capable. Someone exactly like you, in fact. Me and my people are tied to these wagons, you see. I can't leave these numbskulls alone even for a minute, but they wander away and get eaten. As for my problem, we were robbed while we were sleeping. A woman can't very well skip her rest, now can she? That's how you get those black satchels under your eyes. Anyway, a group of shady individuals knocked out my good-for-nothing hired muscle and the rest of us to boot. They must have used a sleep spell, or some witch powder or whatever. When I finally came to, our best wares had vanished. It was a shipment of black liquor from Franagar, the most expensive, or the strongest kind. But that's only the beginning of this sordid tale. These cunning sneak thieves rebranded my liquor bottles as a potion of inevitable success and started selling them to local adventurers. I've already come across two different adventuring parties, Shouting and racing about the forest, buck naked. I shudder to think how they'll feel in the morning. But down to business. I need a hero, as opposed to a slovenly drunk, to find these villains and recover my black liquor shipment. There's no point in us going on, otherwise. Uh, that booze was our chief moneymaker this trip. You'll be well rewarded, beyond earning my admiration and trust, I mean. I'd be glad to help. I can never abandon a merchant to such distress. Thank you so much. I knew right away there was something noble about you. I'm certain they're still in this area, so keep one eye open at all times. If you run into any of their drunken customers, a victim's more like, they might know the thieves' whereabouts. Thank you so much for listening to my problems. Safe travels to you. I await your instructions. Yes. Hello again, stranger. I was hoping I'd see you again. Did you find the liquor bandits? They can't have gotten far. I know luck yet, I'm afraid. Well, I know I can depend on you. You look well capable of handling such a minor task. I mean, she's really At sweet once. talking to me. I shall not flag until we prevail. I'm listening. I'm and I'm listening. not opposed to a healthy Off dose of flattery, so. Yes. There? No one stands against steel. Go ahead. Hmm? I will lead. I fear neither pain nor death. What do you need? Well, I go. You need only ask. Yes? You dare Go face ahead. me? I'll make it. Hmm? Oh, As you say. Okay. <laughs> what next? 
Well, that was really easy. Whatever you say. As you say. You need I will lead. Alright, saw a guy named Arvex down here. Because I think that's what his name was. Ready to serve. I'm going. I'm listening. Well, Wanderer, I am Arvex of Ash Garden. What choice brought you to me? Fortune alone, friend. Fortune and violence, I think. Well, you could say that. Death is everywhere. Today and every day. You have the smell of death on you. It is settled then. I am coming with you. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Why do you want to join me? I sense an ill wind behind you. The threads of endings are woven into your clothes. Where death goes, I will follow. Now what skills can you offer me? I don't travel with anyone who cannot defend themselves. I'll be as a rock slide to your enemies. Have no fear of death. She's an old lover to me. Will we walk together, so will we spread her quiet song? Oh, uh, sure then. We'd love to have you. It seems you're already traveling with a full company. Come back to me, should that change. I await your instructions. I'm not sure who I should replace him with, uh, at least temporarily. I'll be heading off for a bit, my friend. Look for me by the tap if you want to travel together again. Do they stay where we kick him out? Because it... I assume he won't leave this area. Hmm. Uh, back again, Wanderer. Tell me, which ways brought you here today? Uh, let's just get through this dialogue again real quick. It is settled then. I am coming with you. Alright, say this then again. Let us go bring quiet to the restless living. Well... Alright, so he's a human Highlander. He doesn't really have a place in my party. It's Highlanders specialize in clubs and Warhammers, which my main character already specializes in. So we'd have a little bit of overlap in our weaponry. I mean, he has really good investment into bow, bows and arrows, large blades, and spears and halberds, too. But Highlanders get a huge damage bonus with war clubs and hammers. Like, there's no reason to use any of the other weapon types. Um, yes, I'm, like, I'm obligated to invest in war clubs and hammers. So he does not get Vigilance. Let's go and give him Berserk, I guess. Hmm. Alright, what does he have equipped? A Hunter's Armband. Uh, plus 3% to aim and accuracy. This leather armband is worn by hunters or archers across Yarengal. It protects the wrist of the wearer from the bowstrings that passes by the hand holding the bow. Armbands like it are also worn simply for fashion, often made of lower quality leather than their professional counterparts. A Dwarven Girdle. Plus 1 to focus, plus 3% to block chance, and plus 10% to force locks and doors and pick locks. I uh, use my stone seekers to help them find rich loads of ore. A few of these treasured belts have made it to the surface world. These girdles are adapted to dwarven enchantments, 
that the wearer to open locked treasures found in their surroundings. And boots we've seen before. Well, let's speak to him, I guess. Date your will. Huh? Now, where are you from, Arvex? What's your story? The place I was born is called Ashgard and now. Lived my life in Zeta Suda, but that was long ago. What do you mean, lived your life? You're still living it, aren't you? My family was slain. My village raised to embers by Rillo travelers. Zeta Suda and the Eastern Empires are age-old enemies, Donald. During that same massacre, I suffered a diabolical curse. Ellen Water himself doomed me to walk Yerngal undying, unaging, for as long as it shall please him. The realist demigod has never been known for mercy, but that is truly horrible. I am so sorry. Your pity does not interest me. Fair enough. Uh, why do you want to travel with me? You're an adventurer. You no doubt encounter wise and powerful folk in your wanderings, and fight against many dangerous opponents. All I desire is death. It seems I am likely to find it following your path. Are you saying you can't be killed? Because that would make you an amazing warrior. I can be killed. I have been killed many times. Melon Water affords my soul no peace. Whenever I am slain, I rise again at the Moonstone Clearing, healed and whole. No older, no closer to an end. I get the feeling you don't enjoy discussing this, Arvex. Let's talk about something else. Thank you. What shall it be? Oh, what can you do? I need to know what you're good at if we're going to be a, we're going to be a team. I'm a seasoned warrior, a slayer. Give me a weapon and a target, and I shall do the rest. What do you think we should do next? Show me a field of battle. My enemies are as thick as stalks of wheat in an autumn field. I shall reap. I've heard what I needed. I've heard what I needed for now. Let's keep on. But he didn't give us a quest. But I'd like to have him in the party. I'm listening. Uh, hello again. Do you wish to travel together? Ah, uh, yes. Come with me. I only had a companion or two less. Well, I'm working on that. Alright. I shall walk a different path from now, Wanderer. We'll meet again. You need only- Go ahead. I await at once. I'm listening. As you right, said- so you didn't give us a quest right away. I do want to do all the companion quests, so... I'm trying to keep tabs on that. Off I go. Hello. Uh, welcome, Traveler. Okay? Yes. Lynx! Mm -hmm. Surrender while you still can! Go ahead. Go ahead. You need only- There? Oh wait, he has good equipment, Did I'm gonna take you. that from him real quick. Let's uh, actually do this real quick, uh, kick him out. Well? 
All right, let's take these from him. I uh, give the belt to Hamlin. Uh, I'll probably give this to Hamlin as well. And this can go to somebody. Uh, happy moment to it for now. You can keep the rest. All right, so we have the gloves. Does anybody not have ready to serve with me? What do you need? I'm listening. I'm listening. Hmm? What do you need? A beer would be nice. The Cobra's gloves are a little too niche. Go versus ahead. plus 10% to aim and accuracy, which... I'm ready. It's just universally good. You need all as right. you say. We're all set. No one stands against steel. What do you need? I'm li at once. Surrender while we'll you still can. I fear neither pain nor death. Off I go. I'm listening. I await your instructions. Yes. Hmm? I do think Arvex. It's probably one of the cooler companions we've come across. I mean, an undying warrior. Uh, his story sounds really cool, but I think he provides too much overlap in the party for right lead. now. I shall not flag until we prevail. Which is a shame. Whatever you say. I await you there. You dare face me? Go ahead. Off I go. What next? I'm lit as you say. Hello. Hello. Oh, well, hello there. I help you with something. It appears you're an herbalist. Have you seen any interesting plants nearby? Why, yes. There's a tree to the northeast, which has some under, which has come under some kind of terrible malady. Last I saw. There's a wild-looking woman who seemed to be guarding it. I dare not come any closer. Now that is the most helpful hint. Thank you. Alright, let's ask this, actually. A wild woman. Does she seem dangerous? I'm sure I don't know. But she'd look about her like a woman possessed. I wouldn't go back. I run along now. I have much work to do. No time to gossip about crazy women. Hmm? Uh, well, hello there. I can help you with something. I can just rob her? Uh, no, we're just passing through. Well, safe travels. There? I'm not gonna rob that woman. I shall not flag until we prevail. Whatever you say. Hmm? At once. Let's go here and talk to Regan. Go ahead. Of course. You need only ask. Hello. Uh, greetings, traveler. Here, take a little break with us. I carry a selection of wares just for the taste of someone like you, if you're interested. Care to tell me about yourself? The name is Regan. I'm a man of the coin. Got a good deal? Got me interested. To my right is Burn. You make sure I don't end up trouble. 
I don't end up trouble during my travel travels. End up in trouble. Right? Yeah, whatever. I uh, saved my hide quite a few times by now, actually. Remember that time with those girls in the angry dwarves burn? How could I forget? My face still burns from the thought of it. That was a good night. So that's about it. Anything else? Uh, what do you have on offer? All sorts of things for the daring adventurer you seem to be. You carry some sets of armor and weapons, and tools for everyday survival in the wilderness. My prices are always reasonable. On the other hand, I'm also interested in buying valuables you happen not to be in need of anymore. I'm sure we can work out a deal to benefit the both of us. I'm not sure you chose the best place to sell your merchandise, friend. You're pretty hard to spot sitting behind this rock. A fair observation. You see, we're in a bit of a pickle here, friend. On our way up north, my trusty companion here took a glance of a group of ruffians blocking the road. Needless to say, I'm sure they're the sort that preys on small fish like myself. Burn can handle himself in a fight alright, but they have the numbers. We decided to settle down for a bit and see if they decide to rob and pillage somewhere else. You know, I see an opportunity for a good deal here. If you could somehow get them to stop blocking the way, you'd find a rather grateful trader back here, ready to honor your deeds. Consider it done. Thank you, my friend. Hmm. I welcome again, my friend. Alright, let me take a look. As you wish, my friend. Ambrosial uh, Great Sling. The plus 5% crit chance and chance to inflict charm to animals. This weapon's scent reminds one of a juicy melon, and its grip is unusually elastic. This fusta ball was seemingly made from sanguine melon bulbs, rare fruit of the warm, humid caves of Yerngal. The elastic stems of these plants make this weapon dangerous, but also very appealing to beasts with a sweet tooth. Hoover Dagger. The plus 8% to aim and accuracy, and plus 15% to crit chance. That's the biggest crit chance we've seen. Or bonus 2 crit chance. Now, the small, unassuming dagger has one notable trait. It is enchanted in a way that whenever the weapon is held, it will be nigh unnoticeable by others. The weapon is still very much there and visible, but the enchantment causes the sight of it to simply slip by the observer's attention. Given enough time and concentration, one can force their mind to focus on it, but in practice, the time needed to notice it before it's too late is rarely enough. The existence of these daggers of course cost techniques to be developed against them. Still, they are highly sought after by assassins. Sounds pretty good. Edge of the Great Road. A 3% to crit chance, and chance to inflict poisoned, dealing 1 to 2 poison and acid damage to the target, 4%. The scimitar is one of the most sought-after weapons of the East. Those who seek such rare and expensive armaments may find them along the great trading road Tark Alazim. Apart from its exceptional quality, the crafting process also imbued the weapon with a highly poisonous mixture made from crystallized ghost cat mushrooms, heated for long periods at, a very, high t at very high temperatures. Now read today. A Gentleman's Walking Stick. Plus 2 to Dexterity, plus 5% to Crit Chance, plus 10% to Bargain of Persuasion, and Chance to Inflict Concussion to the target 3%. Uh, the staff looks like a richly decorated walking stick, destined to be carried by a nobleman or wealthy merchant. It's actually a fighting staff. The user may use the fancy looks to deceive their opponents, and surprise them with the rain of blows too quick to be answered in time. It favors a fighting style of swift, confusing strikes, jabs and feints overwhelm the opponent's defense and do a decisive blow. The cane is enchanted in a way to improve the effectivity of this fighting style. Still, it is indeed a rather fancy staff. Everyone will want to be friends with the person with the fancy staff. Blade Hide. Plus 5% to cold and heat resist and to hide and sneak, and plus 2 to dexterity. These four screen boots will afford the user great dexterity and allow them to hide with ease in natural outdoor settings. Highly prized by Master Huntsmen, only a few pairs are known to exist. They are once the prized possessions of elven nobility for hunting, but generations of fighting and greed have seen these wondrous footwear scattered. That's probably worth buying.
The Horned Skullcap is just worse. He doesn't have a helmet, so... Probably no reason not to buy it. Shield Hammer. It's a base parry chance 1% and a plus 15% to parry chance. This Warhammer's Devil Cross Guard is allowed to be used in formal combat against swordsmen. The Mages of Isselbright also enchanted this weapon to improve its ability to deflect incoming attacks. This seems pretty good. How's it compared to my current weapon? Worse in every way except for parry chance. Alright, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um... Oh, it's a large blade. So with this, he loses parry chance, but he gets crit, aim and accuracy, and damage. See, I don't know how valuable parry chance is going to be compared to everything else. I mean, I think more damage is just more valuable in general. The enemy dies. You don't have to worry about parrying. So I think this is worth buying for him. I don't think that's unique, so I'm not going to worry about reading that. So yeah, I'll buy this for Hamlet. Hello? And we'll sell this back. I'm interested in this as well. I'm gonna equip this real quick. Oh, this is fine. I don't need to waste money on the range weaponry. Hmm? I will it's lead. not his primary weapon. It's just in case I need range for some reason, so I'm not gonna worry Ready about to serve. investing too heavily into it. I await your instructions. Alright. I think I'm going to call the episode here. In the next one, we'll continue exploring the Moonstone Clearing. Uh, we have a couple leads to follow. We have the quest for the merchants over here. Uh, we have the Dry to talk to. And uh, the quest for Regan. So we'll take care of all that next I'm time. Listening. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.